Lab abroad not only makes you see the differences between the countries, it also makes you reflect on your own culture. So in today's video, I'm going to do a slightly different identity test, reacting to the article 10 things that mean you're a Slovak, published by Slavorum. It's definitely worth a visit. I'm gonna put the link below. So let's see how Slovak I am. Hey, this is Petra with Wanderlust, helping you to unleash your potential and make a difference across the globe. And what we do here is talking, creating a meaningful life abroad, tips for international success, and becoming your best self. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. All right, so let's get straight into it. Number one. You correct teachers when they say Slovakia is located in Eastern Europe. Yeah, because it's clearly located in Central Europe. You see, country in Central Europe. And if Wikipedia says it, it has to be true. Number two. You need to repeat your name at least twice when introducing yourself. Oh yes, this is 100% true. I was Botekova, Petekova, Botkova, Betkova. Foreigners are simply so creative with confusing my name. But it's okay. I already asked for all the souls that displeased me for this year's Christmas. I'm serious. Just freaking get my name right. Number three. You know that the tallest player in NHL has the same passport as you do. Well, I don't care. Number four. You speak at least two languages that you never needed to learn. God bless the Czech. Oh yes, I even have in my CV serious Czech language skills. Even though we never get to actually speak it, you know, Czech speak Czech and Slovak speak Slovak. Like when we talk to each other. Does it make sense? Anyway. Number five. You know that hostel and Euro trip do not reflect whatever Slovakia is about. Okay, so I never saw a hostel, but I saw Euro trip once. Bratislava? Yeah. Bratislava. <laughs> Dear sweet mother of God, we're in Eastern Europe. And seriously guys, have you ever been to one of those shopping malls in Bratislava? All the things, all the fancy things that people buy, watches, the cars that you see on the streets, clothes, more watches and more clothes. Who cares that you don't have anything to eat for the rest of the month, right? The most important thing is that you live fast. Number six. In your homeland, you do not run away from the cops. You chase them. Oh yeah, an absent is not illegal over there. I don't quite get this one. Why would I chase the cops? Maybe after I drank absent well that might bring some adventure into your life like waking up in a hospital next morning number seven when drinking with americans you're always the one to finish the cap because everybody around is already passed out well this is strictly an eastern slovak thing no stereotyping number eight you do not have a middle name so what who cares at least one name less that people get wrong. Number nine. You take Kofola over Coke, Martina over Bud Light. I have never heard of Martina, I'm sorry. Like never. Slavovica over Captain Morgan. Well, the last time I drank Slavovica, I got so drunk that I never drank it again. Movie by Jakubisko over movie by Tarantino. Well, honestly, I don't have time to watch movies. <laughs> and Brinzova Halushki over McDonald's. Hell yes, best food ever. To all my vegan friends, you don't know what you're missing on. Number 10, and this is the last one. You know that Janosik could kick Superman's ass even he was on a damn wheelchair. Oh, this is so true. The one who robbed the rich and fed the poor. Classic. 
Even my nephew in Yanoshi costume would totally kick Superman's ass. Alright guys, so I guess I'm pretty Slovak still after all the years living abroad. So that's a good thing, right? So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give us a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time on Boundarillas.